YouTubes, what's up? Well, thank you so much for tuning in today's awesome vlog. Curious on what I'm doing today down in the office. Today, we are going to be changing a 9 volt battery in a very old school smoke protector out where the laundry room and basically the landing and stuff is. But some of you are going to say, Chris, you should replace it. I know that. But the problem is, they're pretty expensive though, almost like $30, uh, basically. But, I basically just got some batteries for it. And it still works fine, but some of you are going to say, Chris, it's recommended us to replace the whole entire system with something brand new. But yeah, I went to my local shop and save and got some cheap 9 volt batteries. Uh, basically, it's a 2 pack, and here's what the back of it looks like. And that's what we're going to be replacing the battery in. But for a lot of you need to understand, smoke protectors are very good to have in all your locations of your home. But let's go ahead and jump into it and let's go out there and get it all done and working, uh, basically. So let you guys know that this smoke protector been in this house when we actual moved in, uh, basically. And basically this is the landing, of course there's the family room door, the laundry room is basically over there. But right now I gotta figure out how this thing comes off the wall. And you kinda see, it, the batteries, it, it doesn't uh, do anything, basically. It has a clip somewhere, you sneaky pain, but... Ah, uh, here's the old uh, smoke protector right here. Curious. That's what the old thing looks like. It's the back of it. Okay, of course, the battery was dead inside. I took it out a long time ago. And this is the bracket that this basically hangs with though. But, let's go ahead and uh, do uh, replacement mates of the battery. Pretty awesome. Very amazing old smoke protector. But I'm going to show you how you can put a new battery in this old unit. Okay, tubes, we're going to take a look at this very old school smoke protector. And yes, I'm going to be putting a brand new battery uh, in this uh, unit itself. We've been living here from 2007, almost like 10 years, uh, with this old smoke protector in this house, uh, basically. And let's go ahead and take a look at it uh, right now. Okay, and see, here it is. It is actual from Seals. It was made by Seals, I think. And yes, and also it was designed in USA. But let's take a look at this date code right here. Okay, August 4th, 1987. That is a very old smoke protector. You can kind of see the different uh, changes of each battery. It's been replaced in this unit. There was mine right on top. And let's go ahead and uh, pop one of these new batteries in. And you're going to say, Chris, you should just replace it with a new one. And I agree, I should. But for now, just going to do it the old cheap toy here. Got myself a 9 volt battery. Now, I don't know if this thing works or not, but we're just going to find out. Plug this in, I. Right, right. There is the battery inside, just like that. Okay, and this let's give it a test uh, function. Push to test to make sure it uh, works. Yep, yeah, it still works today, tubes, even with a brand new battery. But alright, let's hang this back up on the wall. It's so freaking amazing. Alright then, tubes, time to hang up the old smoke protector back on the wall. Now the thing is all plugged in with the battery and stuff. And it should just clip back up with no problems. And if I can get it clip back up, I think the pain is lit. Alright, there you go. Back up on the wall, very simple, very easily. 
But let's go and uh, do a test on it, just to make sure it works. Okay, at least it works. Oh, this thing's duffing, should I say. But yeah, got a new battery back into it, and it's basically less drawn than what it was before. Uh, basically. But yes, I do recommend replace the smoke protectors every 10 years, but this one uh, still works fine. But hey, right, there you go, that's how you change the battery. And the battery operated smoke protector. Looking amazing. Yeah, uh, that's what it looks like. Just old fashioned. I know some of you guys and girls are going to say, Chris, you should replace that old smoke protector with a new one of 2017. I should. But the problem is, though it could expensive to like $30 a piece, that's for a battery operated uh, system. Now, the cheapest way I can fix it or repair it is just basically replace the battery inside of the system and basically give it a new life. But basically, you should always have working smoke protectors. Yes, we have all working smoke protectors in the house. They're all basically wired in to the alarm system and stuff like that. But basically, you just got to think about it this way. The reason why we didn't get one down over here is because the company didn't want to bother to drill holes in the walls to have to hardwire it in. And that's the reason why that one is there for a reason. It's just for our uh, safety and concern uh, with the laundry landing and stuff like that. But yes, a much newer one would be a nice upgrade uh, to the house and also to the laundry room and everything else in that landing area. But you should have smoke protectors all over the place in your house, just to make sure it's no case of a fire. But yes, putting a very new battery into it, it should work like new. And it's yes, it's very old as well. But hey, that's the only thing I can figure out how to just put a new battery inside of it. All right. If you guys and girls are also brand new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. Leave a awesome comment down below. Please like, please share. Peace out. We'll hopefully see you in the future vlog. Thank you so much for watching today's awesome video of how to change a battery in your battery operate smoke protectors. Peace out.